Jared Poland, froknowsphoto.com with another book from my bookshelf. This time it's Moments, the Pulitzer Prize winning photographs. This is the revised and updated because Pulitzer Prize images have been coming out, I believe, since the late 50s, if the exhibit, I remember it properly. Photos in here, uh, you can say viewer discretion is advised because there are assassinations, there are executions, there are naked people, but that is history. The photos that are in here are some of the most uh, jarring images that will last you, will, 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 will be with you for the rest of your life. When you turn into here and you see a soldier who was just shot and he's, and he's kneeling down and there's a priest going to read him his last rites because the guy's going to die. That is just insane. There, there's history in here. Th the stories that are behind everything are what make these images. The fact that you see the pictures and then you get to read the story behind it really puts you in the situation where they were at. This stuff, oh my, there's just, there's, there's people dead. There's hostage, there, Pulitzer Prize images are picked uh, each year, and they have to be published in a newspaper, and they can win. You've got Lee Harvey Oswald getting shot in some of these. Uh, oh, oh, there's hostage situations. There are so many images that will just leave you breathless, that will leave you just either angry or tense, because these are the images that, it, as a photographer, you want to see what people are winning awards for. You want to, I mean, this isn't even about winning awards. This is about telling stories, stories that other people may not have seen, like this little baby who is laying here, who I believe ends up dying because they're so emaciated with a, with a, uh, it looks like a falcon or a hawk or just a, a buzzard just waiting to pick at the body. This stuff is in, is, is truly, truly insane. And it hits up on 9-11 there are a lot of images in here that are powerful. That's what these images are meant to be. The Pulitzer Prize images are powerful. They, they tell stories. You start off in the 50s and they end in the, 2000, in the late 2000s. Just seeing what happened in the 60s and 70s and the type of images through Vietnam and war and war-torn areas um, and, and other moments with presidents, Lee Harvey Oswald getting shot, the, the, the Viet Cong guy getting shot. There are so many images in here, and, and it's not an easy book to look at. Uh, it's, the images are so strong and powerful that it's not easy at all times, but these are things that you must see. This is our history. This is the good, the bad, and the ugly of being a human being. Uh, that's it. That's moments. A Pulitzer Prize winning photographs. This is a book that is on my shelf that I think you should check out. Jared Poland, froknowsphoto.com. See ya. Well, I hope you liked that book from my bookshelf. And if you want to see another one, you've got one right up here and one right down here. Just go ahead and click it, and it's going to take you to another from my bookshelf. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button right there so you can subscribe to my channel, follow along what we do, and be the first to see the new videos when they go live.